In this video, I would like to explain how you can use the API Manager uh, command line interface to manage your APIs. Let's suppose you have an API registered using the API Manager web UI, which I have done for the pet store, which has a very basic configuration. It just contains the resource path, which is pet store v2. Then I have at the moment no inbound security. I have no image configured, a very basic API. And when looking into that API from the API portal, I see how it looks like at the moment. And instead of now continuing to configure my API using that web interface, I would like to do that in a, in a from the command line interface in a, in a more automated, efficient fashion. For that, I have installed um, API XWay Swagger Promote. I have used Chocolately to make it simple. This gives me then two command line utilities for saying API import, API export. And what I'm doing now is to export the actual API state. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Uh, let's zoom in, hopefully that works. Okay, what I'm doing now is to export the API state and say API export. Then I have to tell, this tells me the usage, I have to tell which API or which uh, number of APIs I would like to export and say I would like to have the API which is listening on pet store and then the version 2 and it's, it's actually listening or imported, configured on my stage API environment. API env, which is the API manager I'm talking to um, before. So now I can go and grab that current, that actual state of my API, how it is in the API manager. And that gives me here in my workspace a new folder, which contains the actual state of my API. So that means it contains the name, of course, it contains the past, the state, etc., etc. So and um, also, it, of course, it contains the swagger definition. It contains all belonging certificates. However, that kind of security or not security configuration file is not very sophisticated as the API is very simple. So what I would like to do is to change my API now from here instead of using the API manager UI. First of all, I would I'd like to, to put a picture to that API, an image, and say the image of my API should be the one which I have just placed side by side to my uh, API config. So now that API should have an image. My API is at the moment in state unpublished, but I, from, let's say I'm ready to go and I would like to publish that API and some kind of start the life cycle of my API. Um, now the next thing I would like to add is, let's say I don't call it security, but I would like to have an API key for that. And for that, I'm going into some other projects which already have an API key example for me, which I can use. So that means this is in, within the security profile and I just take over that thing, put it into my actual API configuration, which I do have. And now my API is configured to have an API key. The next thing I would like to have is, let's say, um, yeah, maybe later we add some client applications because now the API cannot be accessed anymore without having an API key. At the moment, I can go into the API portal. I see that API and I can immediately test and call that API without having to present an API key. But now we are changing that. And so let's say we also take some tags. I would like to tag my API. Um, it doesn't matter where to put it, but I like to have it here. And then I can say XBCLI. Okay, and now I can push back that API, API import, and the configuration should be the one we have now just configured, API config JSON, and the stage is again API end. So we push back that API. I see I made a mistake on line 60. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that means do it again. And now the, the new desired state of my API has become the actual state. So that means I can go into my API portal to see the actual state. This is now my new pet store, which is the same as before, but it has the text I wanted and um, it has an API key as I wanted. Now I cannot call that API anymore without having an active subscription. And now I can go and say, 
I have an application I would like to create a subscription for. Let's say that client application. And uh, this, again, I'd like to go here and say that I would like to create an, an, a subscription for an application. That's why I take over that fragment here. And I say it should be like so. And the name of the application should be the one which is here. So let's say that should be my name, the name of my application. And now I can re-import the API. It takes again the current state and or the not the current, the desired state and brings it to the actual state. So my expectation is now that this application has automatically a subscription to my API. And I can now call that API with the API key from that application. And of course I can do that over and over again. If I do not change anything in terms of the desired state and the actual state, then it's saying there is, are no changes between both states. So that's all I wanted to present, how to use the command line interface to manage your APIs in the API manager. Um, yeah, I hope it was useful.